by special request of the Board of Trustees, you are being invited to remain on stage. We will not ask you to sing. <laughs> Ask Attorney Joy White and Mr. Henry Goodgame to come onto the platform and Mrs. Martin, Mrs. Kirsten Martin, to join us. And Mr. President, I invite you to walk over and stand just in front of that canvas. You know why. Most of you are aware that since June the 26th, Mr. Martin has been the leader of our institution. And this evening, the trustees of the college wanted to recognize the outstanding job you have done for us. It was William Shakespeare who said, all the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely players. They have their exits and their entrances. On this Advent evening, we mark the ensuing exit of Morehouse College's eighth interim president in 150 years. Harold Lee Martin, Jr., you have presided with the readiness of a Morehouse alumnus, the precision of a Yale Law School scholar, and the accuracy of a Harvard Business School graduate. You have been a thinker, not an imitator, with a sufficient knowledge of nature and history to choose superior rather than inferior enjoyment. You have demonstrated that learning is the highest common good and that colleges do not yield up their secrets to the immature. With David Foster Estes, John Hope, Charles D. Hubert, Wiley A. Perdue, Willis B. Sheftall, Jr., William A. Taggart, and Michael Hodge, you, Harold Martin, shall be forever known as the guarantor of continuity and facilitator of meaning in our sesquicentennial centennial year. During the college's profound grief and transition, you became pastor in chief. The strong link in a weakened chain and a bridge over troubled waters. You rolled up your sleeves and dashed toward Zion with articulately nuanced sensitivity and humility. You successfully negotiated your leadership of the college through the millennial issues of anti-respectability politics and won the love, respect, and gratitude of faculty, staff, students, parents, alumni, trustees, and friends of the college. Therefore, tonight, on behalf of our 16,000 plus alumni and all Morehouse College related personalities, we salute you for your deep dedication and playful self-inquiry because you have honored the presidency of your alma mater by being an extraordinary exemplar and a living torchbearer of this timeless academic tradition that has contributed mightily in the building of this nation. 
Attorney White, Mr. Goodgame, you may unveil the canvas and then shall the trumpet sound. <laughs>